Welcome back to part two of this uh, collection, the uh, West Wales trip. Um, today we will we'll be travelling from Caeve Bay St David's to the cathedral for a look around Senarth Falls and then Newcastle Emlyn for lunch and after Newcastle Emlyn on to Clandivery. Good morning. <laughs> Didn't sleep very well, I had a bit of cramp last night a couple of times. It was quite interesting. Uh, but it's a beautiful morning, absolutely beautiful. It's just gone six o'clock. Breakfast is on the go. Good old Tunnock's caramel bar. Some mi mixed nuts <coughs> and a hot chocolate. Good way to start the day. Might do some porridge if I'm in the mood. I feel very blessed. The sun shining on the sacred porridge pot. So I struck camp and then rode into town and visited St David's Cathedral. The patron saint of Ireland is St. Patrick. St. Patrick was trained uh, at St. David's and sent to Ireland as a, a missionary to spread Christianity. In the Middle Ages, two trips to St. David's had the same importance as doing one trip to Rome. So it was a very important pilgrimage site. This is the tomb of Edmund Tudor. Edmund Tudor was the father of Henry Tudor, or as we know him, Henry the Seventh. Henry the Seventh um, was uh, the father of Arthur, Prince of Wales, Margaret, Queen of Scots, Henry the Eighth, King of England, Elizabeth Mary, Queen of France and Edmund, Duke of Somerset. This is a brass rubbing of Edmund Tudor's tomb.
I've been to the cathedral, had a good look round, lit a candle for well, I'll keep that private. But for well I lit a candle for loved ones. So Again, I've got no plan. Just going to point the wheel and see where I go. Coming into Fish Guard now. A little known fact about Fish Guard. Fish Guard's ancient Royal Oak pub was the site of the signing of the surrender after the Battle of Fishguard. This brief campaign on the 22nd to the 24th of February, 1797, is the most recent landing on a British soil by a hostile foreign force, and thus is often referred to as the last invasion of mainland Britain. A force of 1,400 French soldiers landed near Fishguard, but surrendered two days later. A 19th century vicar of Fishguard, the Reverend Samuel Fenton, wrote the book The History of Pembrokeshire. The ancient parliamentary borough of Fishguard was contributory to the borough of Halford West. During the Second World War, the Fishguard Bay Hotel was Station IXC of the Spe Special Operations Executive, the SOE where submersibles were tested in Fishguard Bay. Just coming into Newport, Pembrokeshire. Newport, Pembrokeshire was founded in 1197. It has a castle um, which is situated on the spur of the Can Ingley, which overlooks Newport and much of the surrounding countryside. It's ruins, um, been in ruins since the 17th century. It's impressive due to its situation. Uh, there is a house incorporated within the castle walls, which faces over the town and the bay and the Irish Sea, and it is still inhabited. In the town, a significant medieval pottery kiln from the 15th century, to believe to be the only intact example in Britain, they found all sorts of uh, interesting uh, finds, including jugs, pots, ridge tiles, and distilling equipment. So I've turned off the coast road now and I'm heading inland. Quick stop to change the batteries on my action camera, the DJI uh, Osmo Action 3. Batteries last ages and it still has never overheated on me. That was the sign for the Pentra Ethan burial chamber. Be interesting.
very steep. Not quite green leaning, like the way the foxgloves are all growing in the hedgerows. There's lots of nice smells in the air. Not the usual uh, back spreading smells. Never shows on camera how steep hills are. an outcrop. Now if I hadn't got lost and come this way look, I would not have seen that. Pretty impressive. Oh, a Ford. And a Heron. I love this Royal Enfield, it just tracked us. <laughs> it's a brilliant bike, absolutely brilliant. Slow, but brilliant. This is Kenarth. So, we're going to have a quick break here and have a look around this beautiful place. This is Kenarth. And 
low log. It's, uh, it's a holy well. Fun and low log, uh, literal translation, is the dusty well. I'm not sure I'll be drinking from it though. There's not much water at the moment. It hasn't rained for weeks and weeks and weeks. What a beautiful place. So this is uh, the road to Newcastle Emelin. Lovely twisty road. A nice place to have cake and a cup of tea. This is Newcastle Emlyn. Little cafe. <sighs> Riverside Cafe, Newcastle Emlyn. Just bought an elderflower cordial. It's my favourite, but my god, it's expensive. Cake and tea on the way. This is the Riverside Cafe in Newcastle Emlyn. You can see from the pictures uh, the river when it's hot and dry like it has been. And the last picture you'll see is what happens when the river overflows. An expensive elderflower cordial. But this cafe doesn't sell ice cream. Oh. So I'm gonna have to go and find somewhere that sells ice cream because I can't have a day when I don't have ice cream. And it is so hot now. The day has really heated up. So I'll go further on and hunt for ice cream. So we're coming into Lampeter now. I'm gonna stop quickly, check the map, and uh, decide on where to go next. Try and find a shady spot though, because it is absolutely boiling. Stop at the co-op. <laughs> it's okay when you're moving. Oh, it's nice when you're moving because it's nice and cool. Yeah. But the minute you stop... Where are you from? Where? I'm Cardiff, I am. Cardiff, Cardiff. But uh, I stayed in St. David's camping last night. So. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, I like St. David's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I come up, I took, come up through Sanath and... Uh, yeah. Kenath. And then uh, Newcastle Emlyn. Yeah, 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 Kenath, Newcastle Emlyn. And then the back road back there. Yeah. Over the top there, because she all... Lovely. We don't really go. Just in Lampeter for some lunch, uh, which 
comprised of a sausage and egg bap uh, cost £4.50 and it was delicious from one of those little cabins but it's in the car park of the co-op shop <laughs> so uh, it was very nice washed down with a couple of cold drinks it's absolutely boiling needed a break needed some proper food so mission accomplished there so I'm in Lampeter my next stop will be Flandovery time is it now it's uh, 1400 hours exactly exactly two o'clock so had a really good day the roads have been fantastic the weather is amazing uh, you won't hear me saying this very often but it's actually perhaps even a bit too hot which is so unusual for Wales right everything's secure on the bike everything looks in good order All fine. Let's hit the road. I'm getting on to hard part. Carmarthen, Cardigan, Carmarthen, Pembrokeshire. We're heading to Sandovery. Wow, that's an unusual foam box. It's a defibrillator, so they've taken the phone out, kept the phone box, painted a different colour and they've put a defibrillator, so hopefully that, that might save someone's life. the bullet whisperer tunes for an Enfield bullets balances the cranks and raises the compression and makes them go much faster and he calls them Asbo bikes <laughs> so this is Llanurda village stopping in and uh, really, I'll go back to the owl's nest I think I'll have an ice cream because I still haven't had that ice cream nice little garage signs some old railway signs there some semaphores Nice 
screen tiny. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please uh, like, subscribe, comment and pass on the, the video. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll post another one soon. Thank you.